guys welcome back to my channel my name is Anna if you're new here I do makeup reviews makeup tutorials skincare anything beauty related I got you covered today's video I'm gonna talk about a foundation from I believe the brand is called Exa Exa this is what it looks like it is a clean beauty brand um, it's recently launched I don't even know if it's like a year old or not um, but I believe, if anybody is familiar with Clean Beauty, it is the Credo's line of makeup. If I'm wrong, correct me. Um, I did not purchase this. I actually won it in a giveaway on Instagram about a month or two back. Um, so I want to review it for you guys. It is a foundation that I was definitely interested in getting um, until I saw the price point. It's $38. Which I guess, speaking in terms of clean beauty, when you buy foundation that is clean beauty, it tends to be a little bit pricier, mainly because of the ingredients. Um, and whether you like clean beauty or not, you know, your opinion is your opinion. I don't specifically purchase clean beauty only. Obviously, if you follow me, you know I review a ton of uh, drugstores. So just a quick note. If a product is luminous, glowy, sheer, it's going to get my attention and I'll probably purchase it. Uh, so I just want to clarify that because I know in the past when I have talked about Clean Beauty, there's been a few debates in the comment section where it's like, oh, you know, it's a scam or this and that. Whatever your opinion is, you know, I welcome your opinion, constructive criticism and everything as long as, you know, we're respectful of each other. Um, that being said, we're going to talk about this one. Alright, one of the main things that stood out with this particular foundation when it launched was its tremendous shade range. Which, again, back to Clean Beauty, if you are familiar with Clean Beauty, you know that having a big shade range is almost unheard of. You're limited to, I don't know, 20 shades maybe, or it, it's never a shade for everybody. And when I saw the shade range for this foundation, I was so impressed. So I was like, awesome. Because I know that's an issue um, for people to find their own foundation shade in a particular brand. You know, they want to try it out. I've even had issues finding my own shade, my own shade in brands like Makeup Forever, which I'm not Makeup Forever. Makeup Revolution, which is a brand that I do enjoy, but I do not enjoy their foundations because I just can't find a shade that matches for me. So I get the, like, it's annoying, especially when you want to try something out. All right, that's my spiel. 43 shades. I have this shade. It's called KB350. When I had to pick my shade out, they had different undertones. They had different ranges. Um, I will say that the shade that I picked out... I thought was my shade before I started getting some color um, and when it arrived it was actually a little bit deeper so I feel like these do run deeper now I can use it because I have more color to my skin so that's where you have a frosty glass bottle cute packaging $38 I believe it's one fluid ounce so it's got a little pump it's cute it's got a little green pump um, so that's nice and again very simple packaging and I guess we're just gonna try it on all right so let's try this on that's the color and now that I'm looking at it I might be too dark for it right now <laughs> we'll see we'll see I'm gonna apply it with a bare minerals complexion perfection brush it's just like a typical kind of um, foundation foundation brush it's like the little flat ones I like the way these apply I've mentioned them before in other videos if you happen to find these at TJ Maxx pick them up they're really good right. so I'm gonna start off by putting some towards the center of my face that's always like where I like to start off foundation because I have some redness there. Now this foundation does claim to be a satin finish, but a satin luminous finish. Which is a little contradictory because um, I don't know how something can be satin and luminous, but maybe I'm wrong. I feel like if it's satin, it's almost like a semi-matte. 
Now I did prep my skin like I normally do. So that may help with a bit of a glow. I actually go with my fingers. <laughs> the brush is applying it with a very sheer coverage, I guess, because the foundation is sheer to buildable. I believe you can get about a nice medium coverage with this. And I actually do like the way it's applying with my fingers better. I lied. This is not my shade anymore. I don't know if anybody else struggles getting their shade during the summer, but I'm always in between shades. Right now this one's too dark, so I'm going to need some bronzer to put on my forehead. It does feel really nice. It feels very lightweight and blends out very, very nicely. I would say the coverage is definitely like light to medium coverage. It's not super sheer and that's that I did kind of a light uh, coverage of it. Um, I'm just going to use this. This is from AOA Studio. It's a high def brush. This foundation, I feel like it applies better actually with more of a either like a round brush, something that can kind of like really press in the product versus the foundation brush that I was using before. It was too streaky like that. So whether you have like a kabuki brush or just something dense like this. All right, so what am I seeing? My face looks very, it, it is actually luminous. There's a glow underneath. My skin looks healthy. It doesn't look like I have makeup on and almost just looks like my skin but better kind of thing so I do like that let me just add a little bit more See how when I'm applying it with this kind of a brush, it like diffuses it better. I'm sure if you use like, I'm not a huge fan of these, but if you use a beauty blender, it'll diffuse it just as nice as well. But it's going to sheer it out too, so just keep that in mind. So it's definitely buildable. It builds nicely on top of it, like of itself. So that looks really nice. All right. So overall thoughts. I think it's nice. It's definitely... Hmm. I would say it's almost like a step above a tinted moisturizer. Like, I don't want to say it's a glorified tinted moisturizer because there's more coverage there. But I guess, like, if you're asking, is there anything out there that's similar to it? Yes. My personal opinion, I think that the Wet n Wild, the tinted hydrator is very similar, like, as far as, like, texture goes, as far as, like, that glow that I'm getting. Um, that's very similar to it. What's the other one? There was, an, there was another foundation that reminded me of it, and now I'm just drawing a blank. Well, yeah, well, definitely, yeah, definitely this one, the Tinted Hydrator. Oh, that's right, the Wet n Wild, the Dewy Photo Focus Foundation. That's another one that reminds me of this a lot. So if you're curious about the foundation, but you don't want to spend the money, um, and you want something similar, highly recommend the Wet n Wild ones. I just feel like it's a very, very similar effect. Also, another one now that I'm looking at this glow. I do like the glow, though. It, that's pretty. It's very pretty. <laughs> um, another one that reminds me of the finish is the Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Foundation. That one is one of my favorite foundations. That one has more of like a serum-y, um, moisturizing kind of texture. So if you do use that one, I would like use just a little bit less moisturizer otherwise you're going to be too shiny but this is this is beautiful like I like this a lot actually I like it a lot I don't know maybe I would have eventually spent the $38 on it um but you know me if I can 
try a couple of things from the drugstore instead I would do that but definitely beautiful not knocking it if you were interested in it I will say it's a very pretty foundation um, it is lightweight you can build it up you do get this really really pretty glow so if you like it I definitely I definitely think that you're gonna like it um, if you like it but you don't want to spend the money there's other options so I hope you guys found this helpful if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below and I will see you in my next one bye